All right, let's see if it's streaming over here. Hello, yes, okay, we're going. Hey everybody, it is Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures, and I'm so excited to bring this video to you today. It's been a little bit of a work in progress. I've been working with some of our friends over in our Facebook group, International League of Thrifters, to bring this bolo video to you guys today. So the concept is, in International League of Thrifters, we started a thread where friends could share a bolo that they've had recently, pardon me, <clears throat> a bolo that they've had recently, share what they bought it for, share what it sold for, so that it's something that you can be on the lookout for. If you're not sure what BOLO is, that was one of the questions some of our friends in the group had. What's BOLO? BOLO stands for be on the lookout. So you're being on the lookout when you're at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, for these type of things that can sell. And some of them blew me away. Like I had no idea. There were a couple I know I known about or I'd seen before, but a couple of them I would have just walked right by. So the what I'm going to do is share the bolos that our friends have shared in the group and also if they have a social media link, um, link that because especially if you're new, well, I mean, whether you're new or not, I mean, a bolo is a bolo. You can't, no one person can know everything, right? So I'm going to share their links because sharing is caring, right? And you want to follow people that are really good about sharing information and yeah, so there's that. So some will be on Instagram, some some of the friends are also on YouTube as well, so it will get some exposure to their sites. So they would be awesome to, to follow because they're sharing, and that's how you learn new things, right? Okay, and if you're interested, I put a link down below to International League of Thrifters. I closed off this thread, and I started a new one, so once we get you know a good amount of bolos on the next thread, we'll create another iLot bolo video i lot that stands for international league of thrifters sorry for all the acronyms but it's a mouthful you know okay and i am live so hello friends in the chat hi debbie melissa mickey believe maggie and city thrifters hello hello oh, oh let's see let's see i tried to post okay i'll talk to you about that in a minute okay so let's go over to some of the first bolos so here we go. This one, and I'm trying to make sure I go in order. Where'd my other list go? Oh, don't tell me I lost it. Where'd it go? Hang on. I got all these. I got all these things open down here. Hang on. Let me open back up because I want to make sure I share everybody exactly right. I want to make sure I do it right, everybody. Okie dokie. So, hi, hi in the chat. Da, 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 da. Oh, here it goes. Okay. So first up, this is... This was shared by, let me make sure I'm going in order. This was shared by Claire Torres. And, oh, Claire, I forgot to pull up your YouTube channel. Let me do that in a second, too. Um, so Claire's shared this, I'm going to say this so wrong, Biderlac Deer Reversible Blanket. And she, um, she said they usually fetch about 30 or 40 bucks for her. And this is something that I probably would have would have walked past. So, I mean, one of my thrift stores locally sells blankets and comforters and stuff. It's my local charity shop. Anywhere from two to five bucks. So if I saw this there, I might not pick it up. Because normally when I'm looking at blankets, I'm like, oh, let me find cool quilts or something that's really, I don't know, more handmade type of things is what I look for. Or cool characters, Harry Potter, you know. But yeah, I probably would have walked past this. But for two bucks to be able to flip it for 40 or 50, that's awesome. And let me pull up her YouTube channel so you can see and go follow her okay over here her youtube channel is honestly ophelia honestly i want to show it to you so you see it ophelia dun, dun, dun. honestly ophelia vintage and i'm already subscribed of course let me pull it in over here so you can see she's got these really cute daisies as her her thing on top her dirt her thing her border on top so that's her her site so she does haul videos and she does sales updates I mean I, when I started that's how I learned so much was watching people's hauls watching people's sales updates finding out what they're picking it up for and selling it for so go over and follow honestly Ophelia vintage alright so the next bolo and these are going kinda out of order unfortunately <laughs> I'm going out of order um, these are Gran Alcazar Al Alcazar Castillos, and this was shared by Becky Palmer, or the one, the only, 
Becky Palmer, um, she said she spotted these interesting blocks at her Goodwill, paid 18 bucks for them, and they sold for, wait for it, you guys. Oh, you see it right there. You don't have to wait for it. $295. Oh, my gosh. She, uh, within two hours of listing them. Can you imagine? Within two hours of listing them. And if you guys don't know who Becky is, Becky is one of the dorky thrifters. And so she has a YouTube channel as well, which... Is so amazing to follow. She's super inspiring. So come, let me pop it up here so you can see. So this is her, Dorky Thrifters, full-time thrifters. And yeah, so she, and she does a lot of small stuff too because they are living in an RV. So it's super, super compact. Um, she's got a lot of great videos about um, eyeglasses and eyewear. So if you're interested in getting into that, definitely go over and follow Becky at the Dorky Thrifters. Okay. Let's see. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, there she is. <laughs> She's in the chat. Hey, Becky. How's it going? I'm taking a peek over at the chat. Does it feel weird? I'm talking about you and you're right there in front of you. In front of me. In front of me. <laughs> um, okay. Hey, hey, everybody. Um, hi, Angel. Okay. Deer hunters collect deer items. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I just don't think, because maybe it's because where I am, it's like a dime a dozen. So maybe I should look a little closer. You know when you're in an area and it's just so saturated with stuff, you think it's just not worth anything? But you have to realize it's not saturated in the rest of the world with that stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's because we see so much of it here. There's a lot of hunting in Texas. A lot of hunting. Okay. Oh, awesome. Um, geeking out of the RV right now. Yeah, definitely go over there and follow her. Definitely. All right. So, next up, doo -doo -doo -doo, the next item that was shared Again, the, I see these sometimes in um, the charity shop, sometimes at the Goodwill, and I mm, sometimes I'll think maybe I should pick these up, and then I just don't. Um, but yeah, maybe I should, especially if I see them for a good price. So Donna shared these. Donna Williams in the group shared these, and sometimes I see them for a quarter, 50 cents. I'm guessing new, because I know there are the fetish people that like to buy the hose and, and stuff like that as well, but I don't, go there, I don't go there. But 15 bucks, I mean, if you pick it up for, you know, a buck or less, you're still looking at a $10 profit for a pair of pantyhose. Pretty cute. Okay, I think I missed something in the chat. Um, yes, go give her some love. Hey, honestly, I feel you. Yay. Um, so, yeah, and if you're, in, if you're watching now or you're watching later, Go over and join International League of Thrifters so you can share some of your bolos too. Okay, next up, um, we had a photograph on this one and not a um, a link, which is totally fine because sometimes the links, you know, after a certain amount of time, it rolls off. Well, this one um, was shared by Patricia May, yay, one of our, our admins. <laughs> um, she says, not my pick, but in 2016, I found a set of unopened Pottery Barn reindeer glasses at Goodwill for nine bucks. And honestly, if I... <laughs> saw nine bucks I would have just walked right by him because like nine bucks for some glasses nah. however if I saw Pottery Barn I might say okay let me uh let me hang on to these Pottery Barn glasses but she says she found these for um, nine bucks there were two boxes I got one because the other was broke sold for around a hundred twenty five bucks including postage I regretted not getting both of them yeah because you probably could have sold the two that were not broken right oh my gosh so yeah, Pottery Barn stuff is definitely a bolo. Hey, hey there in the chat. Um, oh gosh, of course the cats start throwing things around again. <laughs> it's cat party. Yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> okay, next. Okay, this one. Um, let's see. Where I, this is from Benita. And Benita shared okay, her Instagram as well. So she says, broken vintage watches are my jam. And so she picked this up. You know, a lot of times you can find watches that they're just like, this is broken, I uh, just take it for cheaps, right? She sold this for $35.99 on auction. That's awesome. Because I don't really do auctions, but that's good to know. So people might get them, refurbish them, or repurpose them. That's really cool. Okay, so Benita is on Instagram, and her Instagram is Courthouse Market. So go over there. Oh my gosh, her pictures are awesome. Look at these pictures. Oh, Benita. Okay. So, yeah, definitely. Look at the, yeah. Go over there and follow Benita at Courthouse Market on Instagram, if you're on Instagram. 
Very cool. Hey, Turtle Trader. Oh, my cats. I know. They're, they're, look at those watches. Okay. I'm just loving your pictures. I can't get over it. I'm looking at the background like, how did you do that? How, I like the little spotlight in the background. And, okay, we'll talk later. <laughs> I love it, right? Talk, talk about interest. All right. So next up, we have a friend in the group that shared a couple bolos. <clears throat> so this is um, from Bonnie Curtis, who is super active in the group. Uh, Bonnie shared a couple different things. One of them are these Hallmark ceramic Christmas trees, which I never find. There's these ones, and then there's like those white ones with the little lights poking out. Um, which I, I still never found one, but I've never seen one like this. And then I, and then she also shared that she put a video in her. Where'd it go? I know I saw it on there. Okay, it's not showing. But she did put a, a video in her listing um, to see that it works. Let me see if I can see it down here. Here it is. So you can see it. Is it going? It's not going. Which is a super, I mean, this is a great tip to definitely, have, even if you have a, just a, a YouTube channel for that, to share your items that move. Oh, did I close it out? Darn. Okay. Well, she she saw she picked it up for two ninety nine and it sold for forty nine ninety nine. So that's awesome. So two bucks, three bucks into fifty bucks, definitely a bolo. So if you see those little rotating Christmas trees that light up and stuff, definitely worth picking up. Hi, Caroline. My friend Caroline's in the chat. The only one you've ever found was in a church or a mid sale. Hi, hi. <laughs> oh, thanks. I haven't done a video with bloopers in a while. I think because I was doing so many lives, so bloopers included. Um, all right, now this is another one from uh, Bonnie as well, which is so cute. This is a Fisher Price Hanukkah set. So this one, look at the price. She says she picked it up for twelve bucks, and it sold for one hundred twenty-four ninety-nine. So definitely be on the lookout for Fisher Price Little People Hanukkah sets. Honestly, because I'm so frugal, I'll use frugal instead of cheap. If I'd have seen 12 bucks on a, a toy like this, I probably would have walked past it if I hadn't known better. But now I know better. So I'll I'll keep an eye out for that. All right, and then Bonnie, oh, you got another one. Yay, Bonnie. So Bonnie also shared, oh my gosh, and I've seen these. And I tell you what, I never pick them up. So I need to find out if it's just any of the little Einstein stuff that does well or if it's just this. She said she paid seven bucks for this little Einstein's rocket. Um, says, a little Einstein's Pat Rocket Light Sounds works, um, and she's it sold for $109.99. So, and then Bonnie didn't share a, a social media, so I'm not sure if she's on anywhere, but thank you for sharing these awesome bolos. So I need to go look at eBay solds for little Einstein stuff and see if it's just this particular one or if other little Einstein stuff does well as well. Um, that's... Question for later, Gio. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to stay on track. You guys know me. I get off track so easily. All right. So next up, we have got... Now, again, this is one that I might have just walked right by. It's a Bentley crystal. And this is from Ginny Lorette, who's awesome. Ginny paid 50 cents for this crystal ornament, and it sold for $37. Again, on auction. Oh, my gosh. I may need to take another look. At auctions because I haven't really I haven't been doing auctions. Okay, so I, I don't know if it's the brand Wilson Bentley that I need to keep an eye out for, or that's a lead crystal snowflake, or I don't know. This is new to me. So if you don't know Ginny, she's got this awesome her her passion is Christmas stuff. She's got an awesome um, Facebook page. Let's see, her Facebook page is Yes Virginia. Every day is Christmas on eBay. So here it is. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have any chats popped up. Oh, I do. Can you see it? Oh, darn. Hopefully Jason's not saying anything funky to me. Okay, yeah, okay. I'll talk to you later, Jason. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be on Jason's show tonight. So if you're, we're, we're rearranging all this stuff. So if you got a sneak peek of my Etsy tip. Um, so, yeah, this is um, Jimmy's Facebook group, Yes, Virginia, Every Day is Christmas on eBay, where it's, it's Christmas every day. So she shares bolos and tips and things that you can pick up to flip that are Christmas related. So if you're not a member over there, it's a really good group. So go over and join her there. Um, hi, hi, hi. Okay, you only have a few things on. I know, Debbie, I'm like, is it just the thing that I need to put on auction or is it something I need to look at more all around? I don't know. All right, next up, 
this was, oh gosh, did you, okay, no, phew. <laughs> Sometimes friends message stuff and it's not appropriate. It's not YouTube appropriate. Okay, so Sherry, I think is who shared this one. Let me see. Sherry, oh no, Sandra. Sandra um, shared this one. She paid two bucks and ran a 10 day auction on these little sailor, are they sailor salt and pepper shakers? Aren't they cute? $84 is what the bidding ended at. Oh my gosh, again with the auctions. Okay, maybe I need to take a look at auctions again. So oh, let's see, 10 day auction paid two bucks, $84. So I don't know if it's a sailor thing. Is it Holt Howard that I need to look for? Something I need to take a look at. And then gobs, what is that? That's a good keyword, but I don't know what it is. Okay. All right, we'll find out, we'll find out. So definitely take a second look, I guess, at some of the, I'm gonna have to look that up because I don't know, like now am I looking for, because if I'm looking at a sea of salt and pepper shakers, unless I see something really weird and funky, knowing me, I just walk right by. So I don't know that I would have picked up these cute little sailors. So I'm gonna have to do some research and find out, is it the brand that I need to also look for? Or is it that they're sailors? I don't know. So we'll see. Uh, just found out about Holt Howard. Look it up. Oh, okay, I will. Thank you. Okay, again, you learn something new every day. It doesn't matter if you've been doing this one year or if you've been doing this 50 years. No one person can know everything. So it's always good to, to see, see what other people are sharing and sharing their knowledge, right? Okay, so next up, and I didn't see, let's see, Sandra didn't share our social media thing, so let me look one more time. Oh, she sh oh, and if you're in iLot, in the thread, the this Bolo thread, um, <clears throat> pardon me, Benita shared a YouTube video about Holt Howard. Is that what, who was the, yeah, Benita's in the, okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so you can check out that YouTube video in that thread there, under this salt and pepper shaker. Oh, you see it right there, ha ha. Okay, so next up, before I go on, I don't even know how many people are watching. How many, let me see how many people are watching. Go over there and hit the thumbs up. I can't see how many people are watching. I don't even know. Maybe y'all can tell me. Um, I have too many windows open. Um, but go over there and hit the thumbs up, friends, if you're enjoying this video, if you want to see more like this. The last time I asked, I don't normally say, oh, let's make a goal of getting so many thumbs up on video. I don't normally do that. But the last time I said something was when I was trying to get my brother on. And I said, let's get 200 likes on this video and I'll get my brother on. So I'm like, and it worked. I was like, okay, let's try it again. Let's get 200 likes on this video and we'll get another eBay bolo from our awesome iLot group rolling. Yay, this is fun. Okay, 71, yay. Okay, thumbs up friends, we're halfway there. <laughs> okay, I know, I, yeah, I need to get a life, whatever. <laughs> All right, next bolo from the group, Oh, you had me at Laurel Birch, right? So this bolo was shared by Linda Garwood. She paid 50 cents, and I just did a video about mugs yesterday, and I did not include Laurel Birch on there. I think because I've never seen a Laurel Birch mug, but Laurel Birch mug she paid 50 cents for and sold for $24.95 in less than 12 hours, she says. So my tip is definitely anything Laurel Birch. I, I've done well with pretty much anything Laurel Birch. But she's got a very particular style. A lot of times she does a lot of cats and animals, but it'll be these animals that are trimmed, like this. these are trimmed in gold. It's if Once you know Laurel Birch's style, you'll, you know it, you know? And I wouldn't even say that this is really, um, these birds aren't necessarily typical of her style. They're kind of typical, but not completely. <laughs> if that makes sense. But total, yeah, anything you see in Laurel Birch, take a close look at it because that, that can, can go for good money. That's so good. I'm glad, I'm glad you shared that because I was just sharing about mugs still selling and I'm still enjoying selling mugs and things like that. That mug is a unique Laurel Birch, right? Okay, good. It's not just me. Yeah, okay. So, and let me see. Uh, Linda didn't share a social media tip, um, but that's cool. All right, you don't have to share. If you want to share a bolo and you don't have a social media, Instagram or anything like that, totally still share. You don't have to, but it's just a way to also help helping each other out. <laughs> that was my attempt at making a jingle, but it was failing. Okay. <laughs> okay, this one, I, I almost fell out of my chair because I have sold this same pattern, right? Um, I sold this very same pattern. So this is by Janet. 
Uh, Janet McGee says, I've sold two of these over the past two years for good money. There's other Star Wars patterns, but this is the best one that I found so far. Sold for 150 bucks. And I sold, I pulled up mine. I had it listed on Etsy and eBay. I had listed mine for 211, but I know I took a best offer on eBay, so it didn't sell for that much. But yeah, this is a really, if you see this pattern, snatch it up, um, definitely. And pro tip, if you're selling also on Etsy, you can cross post. Even though this is a current pattern, you can sell supplies um, and patterns on Etsy. Um, they don't have to be vintage. So I had it listed in both places. I also sold, uh, as far as patterns go, another one that was a cool one that I sold for 75 bucks was the Matrix. It was um, Morpheus and Neos, like with the big long cloaks and stuff. Um, so that was another one that I found that I picked up for seven, uh, 25 cents and sold for 75 bucks. Yeah. Yes, thank you, Eric. Go over there and hit the thumbs up. So definitely take a peek at the patterns. Not all patterns do awesome, but there are some. I, I still look at costume patterns. Um, those ones, does the size matter? Well, this one says it goes from extra small to extra large, so I don't think so. But probably larger sizes do better. <laughs> Welcome to America, right? Um, but if you're, you know, if you're flipping just real quick through the patterns, um, one of the things to, if you're just like, I need to laser focus on one thing, I can't look at all these patterns and think about them all. Just think, okay, I'm looking just for costumes. Do, 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 costumes. Costumes and, and sometimes like wedding gowns. <laughs> if you see a nice cost like a Vogue wedding gown type one. Mm -hmm. um, Julie says I sold a uh, that is a crazy. Oh, I sold the Statue of Liberty cross stitch pattern for a hundred bucks. Yeah, totally, totally. It's awesome. Okay, I feel like I'm talking really fast. Maybe I had too much coffee today. I've cut the soda out, so I haven't had soda. So now I'm on coffee all day. <laughs> um, Anyway, next, uh, oh, this is that. Uh, next, okay, one of our friends in the chat, in the in the um, thread, Danielle Bailey said, Omnicords. She didn't have her listing link, but she said, I found one at our local Goodwill for 12 bucks and sold for 250 bucks. I had to go look up what an Omnicord was, I'm not gonna lie. So she didn't have a, a link for it, but this is what it is. I'm gonna take a sip of water real fast, pardon me. So she picked it. Uh, I don't. I might have looked at this because it looks like what is this, you know? But I've never seen one of these. So she picked this up for twelve bucks. Where to go? Yeah, twelve dollars and sold it for two hundred fifty bucks. Bye, Becky. <laughs> See you later. Thanks for uh, hanging out. All right. So keep an eye out for Omnicords. Definitely. All right. Next up in the group, we've got a couple more. And this, oh, maybe this is the last one. Oh no, <laughs> I'll have to double check. All right, so this was shared by Michelle Cl uh, Kilgallon. I'm gonna say your name so wrong. Kilgallon or Kilgallon? Um, she's also one of the admins in our group. <laughs> I should know how to say your name, but right. It's one of those that you always read it, but you don't ever say it out loud. I wanted to share a recent clothing item. I paid $3.49 on sale less than a week after listing sold for $31.49. I love finding cashmere, but especially at decent prices. Definitely cashmere. And then she has got, I've never seen. So, and Michelle has got a YouTube channel that she's starting out on that we can definitely go and give her some love on. Oh, I'm clicking on the wrong thing. So her YouTube channel is Mickey Elizabeth. And so you can go over there and Let's see, she's got 26 subscribers, y'all. We can do better for her than that. So she's got some videos. She's starting out. It's new, but she's got some haul videos and some other reseller stuff going on. So go over there and show her some love. Thanks, Michelle, for contributing. Okay, let's see. Is that, was that everything? Let me go through the thread real quick and make sure I didn't miss anything. So those, that was our first round of bolos. I definitely learned some things. And found out about some brands that I need to go look up because who doesn't like to like spend three bucks and flip it into a hundred or two hundred dollars right and it's just one of those if you know it then you can pick it up and if you don't know it you'll just walk by it and somebody else will pick it up right okay so again thank you everybody for contributing thank you for watching and coming and hanging out live if you've got a bolo you'd like to share 
go over to International League of Thrifters on Facebook and join. And then it's a big, oh, let me share so you can see. Oh, I can't screen share on here. Darn it. You know what I can do? Let me drag it over. I'm going to drag it over here so you can see it. Um, so it's a big thread that looks like this. She's got the binoculars, right? So there's her bolo. So bolo alert one is closed. I closed off the commenting. Bolo alert two is up and ready to run for the next video. So if you are interested, go join. And if you're already joined, leave a bolo for us to talk about, learn about, and spread the love for everybody. And again, if you've got social media that you would like to get shouted out, let um, tag that on there as well so that I can share your channel or your Instagram or anything like that. Okay. Uh, again, thanks so much for watching you guys. Let's get to 200 thumbs up. And if you're watching this later, leave a comment down below. I like to see who's been around watching and I'd like to say hey back and thanks for coming. All right. Thanks everybody for coming to hang out and I will talk to you guys later. Bye everybody. I'm stopping, but it didn't stop again.